Are we on the verge of creating a dangerous AI? Is GPT-4 a ticking time bomb? And what about dangers of chat GPT? Should we censor it before it's too late? In a recent interview, OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman shared his concerns about the risks of artificial general intelligence and how his organization is prioritizing safety over profit. But can we really trust them? Watch till the end of the video to find out. Let's start with Sam Altman's terrifying statement that fear of AI is certainly justified. That should already put some chills down your spine. Sam Altman voiced his concerns regarding the development of artificial general intelligence and how his organization is prioritizing safety while competing in the market. Altman expressed a sense of fear that is appropriate when considering the potential risks of AGI, which he believes are not receiving enough attention. Altman believes that AGI could go wrong in various ways, including disinformation problems, economic shocks, or other issues that are beyond our current understanding. The real danger, according to Altman, is the potential for open source language models, LLMs, to be deployed at scale without safety controls, which could lead to an uncontrollable hive mind of misinformation. When asked how we can prevent this danger, Altman suggested a range of approaches, including regulatory measures and using more powerful AI to detect and counteract these issues. He believes that we need to start trying a lot of different things soon before it's too late. Despite the pressures from other companies, such as Google, Apple, and Meta, to prioritize market-driven outcomes over safety, Altman stated that OpenAI will stick to their mission and beliefs. He acknowledged that other companies may take shortcuts, but OpenAI will not do so. He believes that there will be multiple AGIs in the world, and that's a good thing, with different focuses and structures. Altman's confidence in OpenAI's unique structure and their ability to resist product-driven incentives is a testament to their focus on safety over profit. He believes that their approach to AGI is unusual and that they are good at resisting the pressures of the market. When OpenAI announced their intention to work on AGI in 2015, they were widely mocked and criticized by the AI community, but they persevered and are now taken more seriously. That's all good and well, but is the latest language model created by OpenAI GPT-4 dangerous? Before we proceed to answer that question, we just want to ask you to hit the like button because the AI that controls the YouTube algorithm needs that to boost our video. When asked about the GPT-4 dangers, Altman revealed that a lot of time and effort went into the safety considerations of its release. For example, he explained that as soon as they finished creating GPT-4, they immediately started giving it to people to start red teaming, which is a full-scope, goals-based adversarial simulation exercise. Simultaneously, they started doing their own safety tests on it as well, both internally and externally. Altman emphasized that they didn't get it perfect, but he cares about ensuring that their degree of alignment increases faster than their rate of capability progress. He believes that this will become more and more important over time. Altman shared that they were able to make reasonable progress in creating a more aligned system than they've ever had before, making GPT-4 the most capable and most aligned model they've put out. He noted that they did a lot of testing on the model, which took some time. While Altman was happy that they didn't rush the release of GPT-4, he also understood why people were eager to get their hands on it. When asked about the insights they gained from this process, Altman responded that he does not think they have yet discovered a way to align a super powerful system. However, they have something that works for their current skill called RLHF, or Reinforcement Learning with Human Feedback, which helps create a better system and make it more usable. Altman noted that RLHF is not just an alignment technique, but also helps create much more capable models. Altman explained that RLHF is a process that can be applied broadly across the entire system. It involves a human voting on what's the better way to say something. Altman used the example of answering the question, do I look fat in this dress? There is no one set of right answers to this question, and different people may have different preferences. Altman believes that society will need to agree on very broad bounds of what these systems can do. Within those bounds, different countries may have different RLHF tunes, and individual users may have very different preferences. OpenAI recently launched something called the System Message with GPT-4, which is a way to let users have a good degree of steerability over what they want. 
The system message is a way for users to interact with GPT-4 and provide specific requests for how they want the model to respond. Users can ask the model to respond in a certain way, such as pretending like it's Shakespeare, or responding only with JSON. Altman believes that allowing users to interact with GPT-4 in this way is one of the model's most powerful features. He acknowledged that there will always be jailbreaks, but OpenAI will continue to learn from them and develop the model in such a way that it uses the system message effectively. So knowing what we know about the dangers of AI, the question is, should ChatGPT be censored? Altman says that one of the challenges of building AI systems is that it should respect free speech while mitigating potential harm to individuals and the society at large. He discussed the challenges of regulating speech while preserving the right to free speech and the role of GPT in presenting a nuanced view of different perspectives. He also noted that people often want a model that has been trained to reflect their worldview, which can create challenges in regulating speech. However, he emphasized the importance of presenting a diversity of ideas in a nuanced way, which GPT is already doing. While there are instances of GPT slipping up and presenting biased or incorrect responses, the system is still evolving and improving. One challenge that Altman acknowledged is the tendency for people to share the most egregious examples of GPT errors, which can skew perceptions of the system's overall accuracy. However, he also noted that people are increasingly responding to these examples by sharing their own positive experiences with the system which can help to build a more nuanced understanding of its capabilities and limitations. On the topic of clickbait journalism, Altman stated that while there is pressure to avoid mistakes, OpenAI is committed to transparency and to admitting when they are wrong. While there may be subtle effects of this pressure, Altman does not perceive it as a major issue. Altman also discussed OpenAI's moderation tooling for GPT noting that they have systems that attempt to learn which questions to refuse to answer. However, he is concerned that these systems can come across as scolding and that they're working to improve this aspect of the tooling. Overall, Altman emphasized the importance of building AI systems that are transparent, accountable, and respectful of the values of free speech and diversity of ideas. But what if everything goes wrong? What happens then? Should AI have an off switch? Sam Altman also voiced his concerns around AI and the ability to control it. He was asked about his view on the off switch, that infamous big red button in the data center that supposedly has the power to shut down all AI systems. Altman dismissed this idea, stating that he had never used such a button and jokingly said he would like to carry it in his backpack. He did say there's the possibility of rolling out different AI systems and then rolling them back in, particularly when faced with concerning use cases. He acknowledged that this was a very real concern for OpenAI and that they did their best to anticipate and test for possible misuse, but ultimately recognized that the collective intelligence and creativity of the world would always have the upper hand. This admission of vulnerability is something that sets OpenAI apart from many other tech companies. Rather than trying to project an invincible image, Altman is willing to admit that they don't have all the answers and that they rely on constant testing, red teaming, and the ability to make changes as needed. But this raises an important question for us as a society. If even the brightest minds in AI are struggling to control the technology they create, what hope do the rest of us have? Altman's answer to this is both reassuring and alarming. On the one hand, he believes that AI is still in its infancy and that we have time to figure out the ethical and practical implications. On the other hand, he acknowledges that AI has the potential to be incredibly powerful and that we need to act now to ensure that it is used for good. This is why OpenAI has taken a very deliberate approach to its research and development. They focus on creating AI that is safe and beneficial and they work closely with policymakers, academics, and industry leaders to ensure that AI is used responsibly. They also prioritize transparency, sharing their research and findings with the wider community so that everyone can benefit from their work. So where does this leave us? As individuals, we may not have the power to control the development and deployment of AI, but we do have a responsibility to stay informed and engaged. As long as we stay engaged and committed to finding the best possible path forward, there is reason to be hopeful that we can harness the power of AI for the greater good. So, 
what are your thoughts on AI and its potential to impact society? How can we ensure that it is used ethically and responsibly? Let us know in the comments. Can't get enough of AI? Here are some awesome videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the world of AI. Thanks for watching.